All right, this is what we're in. We're in for some gameplay. Let me make sure we're in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so you guys can enjoy what the hell we're gonna be seeing. The character, you can see, pretty unique silhouette. Little edgy yeah, walk, I like that. Massive I can get behind it. Team just for the twitching stance. Yeah, it looks oh, amazing, right? The guard stance, the top guard. Stance, yes. yeah. Like I could do that for an hour. <laughs> if you spam that, you're gonna be doing right. like a freaking uh, so Beyblade helicopter. So I'm gonna have to turn him up so I can hear him a little bit better. Uh, we have a two-head chain, right? Uh, so light heavy, 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 heavy light. Heavy, light heavy, uh, yeah. Okay, two-head chains. Uh, Not a so huge fan of. First, let's go. Because uh, I think light. most characters have. Uh, we really wanted to do a, a super. Have block, three at least. Uh, focus hero. So all of our lives have. Uh, <laughs> See, uh, the ones in chains as well. Uh, you'll see later whenever she has other lights, it will also have the superior block. That's just a team that's gonna yeah. be here. Okay. The so, so one has, yeah. is great for offense as for a two-hit hero. It's pretty exactly. useful. Exactly. So superior block, meaning that, like with other characters, like I think, like I think that's what they're assuming, like Warlord and and Valkyrie with their lights. You know, if you attack from one direction and they light instead of, you know, like parrying, you can get like a en enhanced light, so to speak. Usually it's unblockable that goes through. I think that's what they're mentioning. Okay, you want to get to your, your finishers. So, <laughs> make a lot of sense. Uh, and also, like, that weapon is quite heavy. So it kind of it, it really fits with the character as a whole. It top uh, For the heavies, uh, the heavy finishers are invisible. It kind of looks like it pinned there. Uh, it does if pin. You notice, the axe gets embedded into. Yeah, it's like weapon. a pin. Uh, you can do a headbutt to just reset your chain. Ah, headbutt to reset. Uh, but you can dodge that headbutt. In which case, you can guard break them. Mm hmm. Uh, I if see. If you do dodge attack, they will beat your guard break. Mix ups. So in this case, you can also just fake them to do it. Carry or dodge or whatever. 400 ms headbutt. Superhuman reactions, <laughs> and they were not able to react to them at all. So that's great. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of like reed based. It's similar to like Ocelot with like the the little like stabby stab and then like the, the the throat split. You can like reset your chains and stuff by by going into stuff like that. I mean, obviously it's going to be unreactable because we want reed based gaming, but the pins could set up some ganks. Could set up some ganks. For the chains, you can also. Zone okay, zone. Yeah, so zone into light as well. Yeah, so like all like zone acts as a opener basically. Yeah, yeah. The zone seemed very slow. Then I guess we should jump into the specials. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because they haven't done two attack. hands yet. It's a, a tough attack. So it's okay, sprint thing. attack. Nice. That's pretty and standard. Feel the weight of the weapon. She, yeah. she crashes down. Wait, did she and swap to? Was that just one hand? That, that sprint attack. It's a, a it almost looked attack. like. She like very briefly goes to. It's like she's got her, sh her shield still in her in her like like it's strapped to her arm, but it looks like she still it's like uses two hands briefly. I don't know if that's the case. Kind of looks like that. I could be wrong though. Uh, you have dodge attacks as well. Yeah. So, side dodge light, then dodge light. As you can see, because they're light attacks, they have this. Not just dodge to left and right; they have the forward dodge. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so you can you can do your superior of course you have your your superior block lights on dodge attacks as well. Shield, people uh, are pretty used to just having a dash opener. Okay. Uh, same as uh, other heroes in terms of timing. So this helps you to get into that thing. Get bash like light. Uh, it's yeah, pretty like standard you know. nowadays in For Honor. Goes to, goes to, uh, that, that bash, yep. that shield bash goes to your openers, right? Yep. So it doesn't yeah, exactly. go to your 27 team. damage on the heavy it finishers is chains, pretty get, decently high. I mean, I guess you need, exactly. if you have a two hit com uh, two hit chain. Because uh, we didn't mention it during the, the chain. She doesn't have a bash and chain. Uh, our heavy finishers are already unblockable, so you're kind of gonna no bash in chain. Except, okay, uh, have to lead so with the bash. That was a conscious choice that we made as well, uh, because her defense is quite potent. Right, <laughs> having uh, chain lights that oh, actually, you finish your lights that have superior block. Mm -hmm. They have like a long delay window. There's a lot of stuff we can do with that. So it, we wanted to really focus on her defense there. And there's another little move that uh, we want to talk about right now, right? Yes. So 
windshields come great res responsibility <laughs> and a down <laughs> stance. <laughs> uh, but this one is quite different. Uh, so first, it's kind of like a Ramusha where it's a, just a temporary okay. base one. Uh, you can cancel your attack recoveries into it as well. Right. Uh, but of course, I, I can get guard broken uh, and uh, I can get hit in the recovery. It's your uh, shield so blockade. Uh, if true. we look at the follow-ups. Uh, I would so love to see the follow-ups. You have the heavy, which is unblockable. Uh, there's something special here. We can do in any stance. Yeah. I think this is the first time we do that. Uh, with yeah, a, it's the first time that we end up having uh, like those type of follow-ups be... Uh, you, can, you can pick your stance. It's very, very much uh, the core of For Honor to be able to attack in a specific stance, yeah. choose where you're going. And this also so adds it's like similar to like Conqueror Shield hit, a little bit where but I don't like, know if it's is it I confirmed? Can stance, I can go in a situa situation. It does because it does have somebody on my left, somebody on my right. Twenty to the top, it. eighteen to the yeah, sides. Yeah, the other follow-ups are also interesting as well, right? So yeah. Uh, yeah. So you got your top heavy for max damage. The side one, if you want to hit someone. They look on your confirmed. Side. They uh, look confirmed. The attack. As, of course, they have a super block as well. Yeah. And can chain. 14. Uh, you have cool animations. Attack, so that's if you have like multiple people around you, for example. 17 for zone. Okay. Zone, get away from the option. And then uh, you got the bash. Uh, that bash can wall splat as well. So, of course, bash you can, can wall splat? Someone, but uh, it can be used as well just to uh, top it oh. for a little bit more damage. So you can uh, bash out of it. Of you may have noticed. The wall splat's kind of crazy. Uh, whenever I do block GC. The animation on the other side is quite different than usual. Uh, that's they get like staggered. The place where we decided let's try something new, uh, where whenever you block someone with this, you will bind them. All uh, right. Yeah. So that causes some oh. difference. Uh, that could set up some crazy ganks. Decide what you want to be doing after yeah, because you, can, you have so many you, options. Yeah, you can delay your the, the follow up like like wide a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So in this case, this is a big part of the support hero, right? So we'll to be able yeah, to it, a it to looks very, yeah very more support counter work better in teams than that we have in group than in solos. But team, eh, no big deal. I'm gonna get there. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna tap down, block. So far, nothing super to interesting to save distinguish it though. With Varangian, you can choose your target, uh, and no matter who you block, you're always gonna be able to hit whoever you block. And uh, you can also, if someone tries to peel okay. you, you can just attack their external as well, as we see in the video. Yeah. Uh, and then you can see, because you can choose your target, we put a lot of effort into a new tech. Where yeah, okay, that's what, that's what I was looking, yeah. Where the hit is you can kind of multi-hit. the video right now, she will just play an animation accordingly while still looking at her target. Gotcha. There's a lot of animation that's in this system. Because yeah. 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 we had to really plan ahead. Mm. On, like, so you have a little uh, a little time window. That you're locked on and you want, you if you have the opportunity to attack there, during it. That's way, cool. So that's that's going to be good for Dominion. Side, for sure. Don't forget that. Yeah. In a team fight, yeah. if you're getting hit by multiple. How do we turn all of that? It seems yeah, just to, just to like bring this out. Yeah, you get those times like, you know, you get attacked twice. And you want to go after one person who's low, but then their teammate attacks too, and you get like that auto parry mechanic that usually comes in. And by the time that happens, uh, this person's recovered, so you can't actually hit them. This will allow you to focus on whoever. So even if this person attacked you first, you could go for this person. But also, during the window, you can extend it if they if they're like if you're still in that blocking window with the the all block. That's kind of good. I like that. Okay, so like base based on what I'm seeing. The gameplay of the character is is pretty basic, um, at least for like the move set. It's I think it's more bare bones than what what I've seen with other characters. Maybe that's just because the more new characters that come out, there's always expected to like kind of like one up it. But I feel like you know just compared to like Ocelotl, Ocelotl had the whole kit and caboodle. I feel, but this character only has two hit combos, which can sometimes be an issue for offense. No bash and chain, just a normal bash, which is. You know, I'm I'm okay with, but right, just a bash into a light. You can reset with a headbutt. You know, kind of Shigoki can do some like headbutt stuff. That doesn't necessarily reset your chain, but uh, the superior lights are going to be very nice. Obviously, on all sides, definitely looks more defensive, but still does decent damage. Uh, I think setting up with teammates is going to be kind of the way to go with this. All right, we're in feats. Uh, so this is part of our support kit. Whenever you land the superior block, uh, you can see the little sphere going to the Valkyrie and it heals her, but it doesn't heal uh. Varangian. Yeah. Uh, the Varangian. So support so your superior that, blocks heal teammates. Uh, 
Yeah. Interesting. You're, you're basically just going to be standing there in team fights, heal, heal, healing all of your allies. I, I wonder if that counts uh, for your like healthy. your actual of offensive course, uh, attacks it's as quite well. A potent heal, so uh, you're not healing yourself. That's kind of the. Yeah, and there's no cooldown on. Let me and actually, yeah, actually, I want to see. I want to see the Valkyrie, and it heals her. Were those? Were those? Is it based on yeah, whatever damage you'll be defeat. taking? No, we have a little video, so, right? Wait, I want. Yeah, I want let's go. We're gonna I see that. Uh, so first piece, uh, I mean, too heavy blocked gets a full bar for your team. That's. It's called take shelter. That's pretty uh, damn. So, so that's a lot of health support kit. for one. Whenever you land the superior block, oi, oi. Uh, you can see the that's a lot of health the back. Valkyrie and it heals her, but it doesn't heal Varangian. Granted, it isn't uh, for you, guard. but man. So, that means You're that, the ultimate team player. Uh, now, uh, for the feat two, two yeah. because your feat one is not keeping you alive, uh, we have okay. the guard, uh, guard, which is uh, whenever you spear block an attack, uh, you will gain a big defense buff for a short duration. Okay, uh, so it's kind of like the the lawbringer. Let, let, uh, let me see this. Yeah, it's like right to so the does it 18 yeah, damage? Your block instead of being on fire. Exactly. Uh, just okay, so. It took the Highlander heavy down to 14 instead of 24, and the PK heavy down to nine. That is a, I, was, I mean, that is a big Make buff. Sure you those be Granted, you have to land a superior crushing counter light in order for it to work. To go back into the support, uh, here's the ACR aura. So that one is every attack single buff time you aura. The unblockable heavy. You will pulse a AOE that will give a little attack buff to you and your friends. Okay. Uh, so that, that really allows you to get that air seer bind with the, the EV, and then you and your friend can kind of take advantage of it. Uh, so it looks it. like you're doing the last exactly. Exactly. You're, you're doing 32, so five damage yeah, buff. Yep, yeah. and then uh, feed four. Two damage buff on the, on the lights. So anytime you land an unblockable, you pulse out. I mean, yeah, this is like the ultimate team fight support character. Reclaim the land. So going back uh, to fight the uncle. <laughs> um, so as you see, it seems like it's a projectile from the sky. So that's kind of like a spear storm. It acts kind of like a spear a storm so that knocks indoor. back. Uh, so there's going to be a bunch of spears that, that that fall into your enemy for damage, and then it's going to leave a doom banner, which is uh, if people are familiar, it's uh, knocks the, back and gives two, doom so banner. It, it plants a banner. And then every enemy inside of it is gonna have lesser defense and yeah, debuffs defense. So it's yeah. really great for. Wait, let me. Uh, so there's gonna be a bunch of four. How much damage did that do? Claim the land. So 40, 40 damage. So going back. Not not super high damaging, uh, but it does give the doom banner if you're in the area as well. Did he say you can't use it inside? It seems like it's a projectile from the sky, so that's kind of like a spear storm. It acts kind of like a, a catapult, so you cannot do it indoor. You can't do it indoor. Okay. It doesn't seem crazy strong, but obviously the defense debuff will be nice. Um, you don't have to worry about, like, you know, one of the things, the time to set down a doom banner takes a while. So that's at least good. Uh, again, team fight oriented support type character uh, so there's gonna be, yeah. so i can get behind that um that first feat seems like it's gonna be really nice because you're gonna unlock it early and just keeping your teammates alive if you're in close proximity to them uh i'm, I'm curious to see how this plays out in actual gameplay G granted like yeah if you're this is not like a 1v1 character i mean sure you can probably win your ones but the characters based on support and have we i don't know if we've really gotten like a support support type character like there's some there's some feats that you can do like uh magi has like ones that can heal your team or yourself you can kind of be like in that sense griffin kind of has some team healing ones too but this is like full on for the team